Hi guy, in the last video, we simply explained the use of air gap in transformers. In today's video, we will take a closer look at the energy storage role of air gap. First of all, we all know that the air gap is generally used in flyback transformers. The flyback transformer works by storing energy in the positive half and then releasing it in the negative half. And where is the energy stored in the transformer? It is stored in the air gap. In the transformer, if the core is assembled into the bobbin, does the whole structure form a closed circuit? Then the magnetic reluctance of these two sides is very small. The middle is air. Compared with this core, the permeability of air is much lower, so its reluctance is relatively large. When the gap becomes larger, the inductance will be smaller, and more energy will be stored. Here we mention a new concept called magnetic reluctance, which is the resistance of the magnetic path to the magnetic flux. Magnetic reluctance and resistance in a circuit are somewhat similar. Look, this is a circuit which has a resistor and a power supply as well as a switch. With the switch closed, most of the electrical energy is trapped in the resistor and is converted into heat. What if the resistor is replaced with a small bulb? When the circuit is switched on, the small light bulb is lit. This is when the electrical energy is converted into light energy, like a circuit. In a magnetic circuit, most of the magnetic energy is trapped where the magnetic reluctance is high. This is the reason why the air gap is able to store energy. 